Ready to take your graphic design skills to the next level with less effort and more possibilities? Today, we are taking you through Canva's latest AI upgrade called Canva Magic Studio and how to use these new tools to help with image editing, video editing, presentations, and now even writing. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've used Canva recently, you've probably noticed a few AI features here and there, like their text to image generator or their magic eraser tool. We first noticed these in late 2022 and have used them to create graphics and thumbnails images. But now, Canva has a whole slew of AI features and they're vying to be the one-stop shop for everything AI. Some people are even saying it rivals popular writing tools like ChatGPT and Jasper and image generators like Dolly and Midjourney. So let's see what all the hype is about. These first two tools are some of our favorites because they allow you to create oddly realistic short videos for things like ads, Instagram posts, and YouTube shorts. See for yourself. The Magic Design for Video tool creates different video types and styles. Just upload the media you want it to include and give it your instructions. At the time of recording, this Canva feature has been offline for a few days, so we weren't able to try it for ourselves. The other tool is called Text to Video, and this one's cool because you don't have to provide any of your own files, just your imagination. When you're creating a new design, go down to the Magic Media tab and you'll see the Text to Video option. So now stepping out of Pepe the Frog mode and into the marketing side of my brain, I asked Canva to create a 10 second teaser video for an organic soap brand to promote their new lavender scented soap bars. In my opinion, this turned out super super aesthetically pleasing. All I have to do now is go in and manually add some text in my logo and boom, I've got an Instagram ad. When you're making videos, just don't ask AI to create people or text because this is what happens. I'm not sure what language that is and that person is gonna be in my nightmares tonight. Leave a comment below telling us if you'd use these tools for your own content. Also subscribe and hit the bell because we're testing out a ton of other text to video tools in future videos and showing you the best ones. Another practical use for Canva Magic Studio is to create and edit images. And man, do they have a lot of tools for this. First, I tried Magic Eraser on this stock photo of a bunch of tea candles. I loved the narrow depth of field blurring the background candles, so I used the eraser to remove the one in the foreground and traded that space for my minimalist candle logo. I realized I actually wanted to extend the image so that I could use it as a website banner, so I went to the Magic Expand tool. I decided to do it freeform so I could have more control over the length, but they do offer a bunch of helpful predetermined aspect ratios. And this is what it came up with. Then I went into Magic Edit to replace this apple with a soap bar from the Organic Soap Company. I just highlighted the apple, typed in what I wanted to replace it with, and ta-da! I could use this as an Instagram post or an ad. You'll definitely get varying results here depending on the background and the space you're working with. Images with hands make things a bit more complicated for the AI to navigate, so for fine-tuned image replacement, you might want to go with a more advanced tool like Adobe Firefly. We're posting a tutorial on that soon, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Then I took the apple from the original image and used magic grab to move it onto this picture of a basket of apples. Technically, you could do the exact same thing with the background remover tool and just put the apple into the basket. But magic grab technically takes out an extra step, especially when the background is simple and it can isolate the layers more easily. So we know that Canva is all about graphic design, but it's also one of the easiest ways to create a slideshow presentation. The new magic design features make that even easier to do because you can ask it to create a custom template for just about anything, like a second quarter ad campaign proposal, a walkthrough of how to use a new software, or a pitch to your boss about why Johnny from HR needs to get canned. Kidding! I'm kidding. So I asked it to create a template for my presentation on the top three reasons you should subscribe to our YouTube channel. And here's what it came up with. Canva is YouTuber oriented in a lot of ways, so I wasn't surprised at how solid the options were. Then you can move straight from choosing the design to inserting your own text and photos, which you can make in the text to image tool I showed you before. And next, I'll cover how to use Canva's AI writing tool, so stay tuned. To be fair, this design feature isn't a whole lot different from the templates you can already use in the platform. It's more like an accelerated way to find a suitable template for your specific concept. Have you used Magic Design yet? And if so, do you think it's better than manually sifting through templates? Comment below. We also posted an overview of how to use the ChatGPT Canva plugin to create presentations. Check it out to see our results and don't forget to subscribe. So I mentioned that Canva has a tool that can help you with writing. So I'm gonna use it to help with the bullet points for the presentation I just generated. Just type in a few words, highlight them, and then ask Magic Write to expand the text, summarize it, rewrite it, and more. Basically, it's like having ChatGPT inside of Canva. I started with a couple of sad sentences because I was feeling really uninspired, 
But after Magic Write, I have this super convincing presentation about why you should subscribe to our channel. It is super convincing, right? Did it work? Did you subscribe yet? But if you're not sold on this tool, we have videos covering the top free and paid AI writing tools linked below. So check those out if you're looking to write better copy, articles, blogs, and emails. The final tool, Magic Switch, takes about a million steps out of some of the most difficult copywriting and presentation tasks. Say you have a work report you want to translate into another language to send a client, partner, or investor, but you don't have a year and a half to spare of using Duolingo. Instead, you can use Magic Switch to translate your text in seconds. Taking the same presentation I made about why you should subscribe to our channel, I'm translating it to French because I speak French, so I wanted to see if it would do a good job. And I was pleasantly surprised. Play bien. Heads up, you will have to go in afterward and readjust the text size and format. Because each language uses a different number of words in each sentence, the spacing can change pretty significantly after you translate the text. Magic Switch also allows you to turn your text into a variety of written pieces, so I transformed the bullet points into a poem. Here goes nothing. Unveil the cryptic canvas where marketing spells reside, where wisdom and AI and harmony take you on a ride. On a platform known to all, the stage of YouTube's might, a channel full of insight illuminating the night. I'm sorry, I'm not finishing that. What do you think? If you like that poem, like this video. Or even if you hated it like I did, you can still like this video if you want. The Magic Studio has a few more tools that we didn't have time to cover today, and we're sure Canva will be releasing new ones in the future. So let us know in the comments if you want to see a tutorial of those tools too. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.